Universal Migrator Part 2, Flight of the Migrator is the fifth album from Arian, a progressive metal, rock opera project by Dutch musician Arjen Anthony Lucassen, released in 2000. The musical styles found on Flight of the Migrator contrast its counterpart The Dream Sequencer, illustrating a wild, raucous journey through the tumultuous and chaotic reaches of outer space. In keeping with the setting of the story, the album's tone is much heavier, exuding a powerful, guitar-driven metal feel throughout. Both albums were released simultaneously, sold well and were received positively. In 2004, Lucasen moved to a new record label, Inside Out Music, and with this move came reissues of all the previous Aryan releases, including the Dream Sequencer. The special edition reissue merged both albums into a single release, titled Universal Migrator, Parts 1 and 2. The album was also released on vinyl in December 2012, as Universal Migrator had enough content to form a two-CD album, Lucasen decided to sell each disc as a separate release. He believed his fans to be fundamentally divided into two groups by genre of choice, being either progressive rock or heavy metal fans. The Dream Sequencer was meant to appeal to the prog enthusiasts, and Flight of the Migrator to the metal fans, so that each could simply purchase the album of their choice, if so inclined, and to his surprise both fanbases bought and enjoyed both albums. Topic. Plot background Flight of the Migrator continues the story of the final living human being, the colonist on Mars, and his decision to go even further back in time. Using the Dream Sequencer machine, he travels all the way back to just before the universe was formed, theoretically before the Big Bang, when there was nothing but chaos. The colonist observes the creation of the very first soul, known as the Universal Migrator. It is from this soul that all others are formed, through a division of the original soul. Each resulting soul then travels off into the universe to bring life in some form to the planet they inhabit. The colonist follows the soul bound for Earth, as it travels through countless astronomical entities, such as quasars, pulsars, supernovas, eventually entering a black hole, traveling through a wormhole, and coming out the other side through a white hole directed towards our solar system. The colonist's ambitious time travel subsequently overloads the dream sequencer, resulting in his death while hypnotized by the machine. However, his eternal self receives a message from the migrator, eternity lies before you. You are the new migrator. Topic. Track analysis, historical notes and technical information. Topic. Chaos The colonist travels back in time to before the Big Bang. The digitalist voices on this song were provided both by Lana Lane and Eric Norlander. Norlander also performs a synthesizer solo and Aryan Lucasen provides a guitar solo. Topic. Dawn of a Million Souls This song makes reference to the Big Bang itself, and according to Lucasen's fantasy, the primordial soul, the universal migrator, which subsequently divides into a million souls, is generated in this event. Vocals on this song were provided by Russell Allen and guitar solos were provided by Michael Romeo. Both musicians are from Symphony X backing vocals were provided by Damian Wilson. Topic. Journey on the Waves of Time In this song, the colonist begins his search of the Earth along with the migrator that goes to the Earth. Vocals on this song were provided by Ralph Sheepers from Primal Fear and Eric Norlander performs a Hammond organ solo. Topic. To the Quasar This song is divided in two movements, and its central theme are quasars, astronomical sources of electromagnetic energy which output massive amounts of light. A quasar may readily release energy in levels equal to the output of dozens of average galaxies combined. 
In this song Aryan Lucasen adopts the most widely supported theory concerning the origin of quasars as true, that is, he implies they are gigantic supermassive black holes. Here, the colonist passes the Taurus pulsar and goes to the center of quasar 3C273, hoping that its black hole will take him closer to Earth. Vocals on this song were provided by Andy Darris from Halloween, Renee Merkelback and Eric Norlander each perform a keyboard solo, and Aryan Lucasen provides a guitar solo. Backing vocals were provided by Lana Lane. First movement, the Taurus pulsar pulsars are rotating neutron stars which are sources of electromagnetic radiation. This movement of the song speaks of a pulsar formerly located at the Taurus constellation, which imploded at some point in time. Second movement, quasar 3C2733 C273 is a quasar located in the constellation of Virgo. It is the optically brightest quasar in our sky and was the first object to be identified as what we now know quasars to be extremely luminous objects at cosmological distances. Topic. Into the black hole This song is divided in three movements, and its central theme are black holes. In this song, the colonist begins his travel through the black hole of 3C273. Vocals on this song were provided by Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden, Clive Nolan performs a synthesizer solo and Aryan Lucasen provides a guitar solo. Backing vocals were provided by Lana Lane. First movement, The Eye of the Universe. Second movement, Halo of Darkness. Third movement, The Final Door. Topic. Through the wormhole This song makes reference to wormholes. In physics, a wormhole is a hypothetical topological feature of spacetime that is essentially a shortcut through space and time, allowing matter to travel from one point to another much faster than it would normally be possible. Here, the colonist continues his journey through the black hole, getting closer to the Earth. Vocals on this song were provided by Fabio Leone from Rhapsody. Gary Werkamp, from Shadow Gallery, performs a synthesizer solo and a guitar solo. Backing vocals were provided by Lana Lane. Topic. Out of the White Hole This song is divided in three movements, and makes reference to several different concepts. Foremost, white holes are highly theoretical celestial bodies that spew out matter. In other words, they are anti-black holes, or the time reversal of black holes, and are the point in which matter which travels a black hole would exit. Finally, the colonist exits the black hole through a white hole and reaches the Andromeda galaxy, passing through the fictional planet Y, which is already populated. He decides to continue his search. Vocals on this song were provided by Timo Codipelto from Stradivarius and Codipelto. Eric Norlander performs a synthesizer solo and Aryan Lucasen provides a guitar solo. The demo version of the song had vocals by Robert Soderbuch. First movement, M31 The Andromeda Galaxy, also known as M31 or Messier 31, is a giant spiral galaxy which approaches us at about 300 km per second, so it is one of the few blue-shifted galaxies. It is unknown whether it will collide with the Milky Way galaxy, but if the impact is to happen, it is predicted to occur in about 3 billion years. In that case the two galaxies will merge to form a giant elliptical galaxy. Second movement, Planet YTHI's movement makes reference to and is referenced by other Aryan Lucasen albums, the former Into the Electric Castle, and the latter 01011001. Planet Y is a fictional planet in which lives a being called Forever. Remember Forever. The final sentence of the song, is the final sentence of Into the Electric Castle. Third movement, the search continues. Topic. To the solar system In this song, the colonist approaches the solar system, but eventually dies as the oxygen on Mars runs out and the dream sequencer overheats. 
Vocals on this song were provided by Robert Soderbuch, who also wrote the vocal melody of the song and Aryan Lucasen provides a guitar solo. Planet of Blue is a metaphor that refers to the planet Earth. First movement, Planet of Blue. Second movement, System Alert. Topic. The New Migrator Here, the colonist is told by the old migrator that he is the new migrator, and as his soul separates from his body, his new mission in the universe begins. Vocals on this song were provided by Ian Perry, who also wrote the lyrics. Keiko Kumagai, from Ars Nova, performs a synthesizer solo and a Hammond solo and Aryan Lucasen provides a guitar solo. Backing vocals were provided by Lana Lane. The song was mixed by Oscar Holman. This song was originally composed by Lucasen and Perry during the time they were in the band Vengeance. First movement, Metamorphosis. Second movement, Sleeper Awake. Topic. Reception All music reviewer Glenn Astrida felt that Flight of the Migrator wasn't as good as its counterpart, saying that Lucasen's applied concepts and compositional acumen fare much better on the highly recommended The Dream Sequencer. Topic. Track listing All lyrics written by Aryan Anthony Lucasen, except track 8 by Lucasen, Robert Soderbuch and track 9 by Lucasen, Ian Perry. All music composed by Lucasen. Topic. Personnel Topic. Vocalists Lana Lane, voice on track 1, backing vocals on tracks 4, 5, 6, and 9 Russell Allen, Symphony X, track 2 Damian Wilson, Threshold, backing vocals on track 2 Ralph Sheepers, Primal Fear, track 3 Andy Darris, Halloween, track 4 Bruce Dickinson, Iron Maiden, track 5 Fabio Leone, Rhapsody of Fire, track 6 Timo Codipelto, Stradivarius, Track 7. Robert Soderbuch, Track 8. Ian Perry, Elegy, Track 9. Topic: Instrumentalists. Aryan Lucasen, Electric and Acoustic Guitars, Bass Guitar, Analog Synthesizers, Mellotron, Hammond, Additional Keyboards, Guitar Solos on Tracks 1, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9 Ed Warby, Drums Eric Norlander, Analog Synthesizers, Vocoder, Taurus Pedal, Hammond, Additional Keyboards, Synth Solos on Tracks 1, 3, Hammond, 4, 5, 7 Michael Romeo, Guitar Solo on Track 2 Oscar Holman, second guitar solo on track 4 Gary Werkamp, guitar and synth solo on track 6 Rene Merkelbach, last synth solo on track 4 Clive Nolan, second synth solo on track 5 Keiko Kumagai, synth solo on track 9 plus Hammond Peter Seedlatch, strings Topic. Technical. Aryan Lucasen, producer Oscar Holman, sound engineer Stephen Van Haystrecht, sound engineer Jacques Marcoux, sleeve design and layout <laughs>